What's up, man? What's up, everybody, man? Uh, it's like a, I wouldn't say semi, but this is going to be a last look at uh, player props right here for me. But I can't touch on all the player props. It's just too many. I can't stress enough how important it is to be, to, you know, to be familiar with the league. You know what I'm saying? Knowing your personnel and everything because... It is so so props can be so so profitable, you know. And who 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 don't like you know parlays, you know what I'm saying? Whether you know, I recommend two, three, or four, you know what I'm saying, but uh the sky's the limit, especially when you know what you're doing. Number that's number one. Number two, use the alternates to your advantage. Not just fucking same game parlays. When they, when they alternate some of them motherfuckers and go around the league, whether it's play, whether it's uh, rushing yards or um, 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 excuse me, receiving yards or whatever the case may be, use, use the alternate to your advantage, man. There's no fucking rules to this shit, okay? They're going to take your money just as fast as you give it to them. Now my favorite, one of my favorite bets is uh, uh, player prop parlays. They're equivalent to um, 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 player performance doubles. We already know that, man. Come on now. Number what else? Number th uh, number three. I don't need you to write down your favorite bets so you have this shit in front of you. Your favorite types of bets, whether it's player prop parlays. Um, whatever uh touchdowns thrown uh uh passing touchdowns by you know the quarterbacks you know both teams to score first half whatever the case may be so you can go through the motions man so you can go through the motions now the books now it's week two man a lot of these teams didn't play uh preseason whatever the case may be they rusty whatever the case may be uh shit it's a lot of that going on, man. We just came from a COVID year, then a three three preseason games. So, <clears throat> with all that being said, man, I think it's a lot of advantages to to, uh, to be taken in um, player props. I'm not gonna touch on any uh, Russian player props, even though there's some sweet shit out there. But I think it's a passing league, and I think that's where we can get the advantage in, man. All my props are not going to hit. If they do, <laughs> then they do. Yeah, I love for them to hit. But it's important to know your personnel, man, across the league. All right? You need to know these players. Get familiar with them. You know, I got tools like uh, uh, snap percentages and, you know, all that is, is, is major key. I can help whenever I can. I'm not a fucking professional. I'm letting you know that now. All right? I'm just going to go through point out a few props, maybe a prop or two or three from each game. Keep it moving, man. Let me know what you like. Uh, give me some of your props or whatever the case may be, man. It's probably some of the same shit that I already pointed out, but it's it's got to go through it again, man. Got to go through it again, all right? Got to go through it again. Just want to see folks make money, all right? Because they sure going to take your shit, you know what I'm saying? The goes to profit, not deposit, man, all right? Uh, shucks, you know, it's important to, and then you got some games, some locks that you just know going, you're going to win, go through some of their props, go through some of their player uh, prop parlays, you know what I'm saying, and just, man, and, you know, try to keep them low, or whatever, you parlay some up, you know, try to keep them parlays low, develop that winning muscle, man, that's what we need, man, uh, like I say, I like reception props. Those are some of my favorite. Every player ain't the same, all right? Everybody ain't the same, you know, whatever. Um, Let's see what we got here. What do we have here? Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, player props. I'm going to start off with some. Yeah, I'm going to go through a lot of receiving props because, like I said, I think it's a passing league, man. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got the Vegas Raiders, right, Pittsburgh State. Okay, let's go to some. Um, let's see what type of uh, player total receptions. That's where I live at. That's where I live at. All right. Now, they might put out some more player props, all right, later on. 
Okay, so we know Jacobs is not playing, okay? Key and Drake, over two and a half receptions, man. I just can't. Come on now. Keep in mind, I'm, I'm a risky player, but this is not risky to me. All right, this is what he does. Hey, he got to give me three receptions, man. This is my favorite prop over here. And they just threw this shit up there, man. I want to see what this uh, play, play, uh, player rushing and receiving yards is. Rushing and receiving yards. Mm. But three receptions, all right. I like that. Najee Harris, you're going to get three and a half receptions for uh, Najee Harris, somebody who played 100% of the snaps. It's doable, but I probably will not bet. I probably won't, won't bet on it, man, but it's doable. Look at Brian Edwards. I just got him at two and a half receptions. They bumped it up to three and a half receptions at plus 130. And guess what? I still like that. All right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep going. Look at look at Deontay Johnson. That's that's Big Ben. That's his favorite target, man. Over under five and a half. And then look at Juju over under four and a half. I'm gonna keep it moving, man. I'm gonna keep it moving. All right. Um, let's see. Let's not let's not let's just find us some value and 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 and, and keep it moving, man. You know? Uh since it, I might have to switch to the app because this this let me switch to the app because this motherfucker the web is I like I like using the web but I'm gonna switch to the app because the app the web is acting kind of buggy on me right now. Let's go over here. And I'm gonna switch to the app. Cincinnati Bengals and the Chicago my Chicago Bears, alright? I'm gonna go to some receiving props. Alright. Uh if I'm mistaken, uh, uh 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 Joe Burrow, he threw the ball last week, what, twenty times? I mean, under 25 or what was it? I have to go back and look look at the snaps. But uh, player props, okay. Uh, player total receptions. All right. Uh, let me move move me out the way a little. <laughs> My fault, y'all. Uh, you're gonna get Jamar Chase. I like the over on that, on the, on those receptions at plus money, at over four and a half. Okay, Allen Robinson. It's some juice on this prop right here, but I like the over on this five and a half. Uh, I like him to get six catches. Donnell Mooney. I think he had seven or nine targets, but he had five catches last game. Tough matchups against the Rams. Number two wide right receiver. You're gonna get this. I'm I'm willing to take a stab at this. Five catches, yeah. At plus one forty four, I'm willing to take a stab at this. Uh, Cole Komet, he got a, a few extra targets at the end of the game, but over three and a half, our tight end. Mm. At plus money, I wish you could alter the the, the receptions, but you can't. But uh, I don't I don't I don't I don't mind that if you want to go there. I'm really, 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 really tempted on this four and a half at plus 144 for uh, Darnell Mooney on the other side of Allen Robinson going up against uh, the Bengals. But, you know, those are some, you know, some of the props I'm looking at right there. Um, this Houston and this Cleveland game, they didn't have a lot of props. Out there. For some reason, they still, I like Chubb to score a touchdown in this one. Just throw that out there. Uh, let's go to player props to see. So they had they still ain't put out the total receptions it's already Saturday I mean I've been looking I've been waiting on them to drop it like come on now Houston Houston they still ain't dropped it they still ain't dropped it 
They still ain't dropped it. I like Chubb to score one the touchdown in the win. Possibly. Possibly two touchdowns in the win, man. So I'm going to keep it moving since they on some bullshit with that. Um, oh, the Colts and the Rams, man. You could probably get multiple props over here. They was on some bullshit over here, too. Let me check and see what they got. Uh, player props. Total receptions. All right. Uh, let's see what they got here for us. Right off the back, I'm looking at Tyler Higby. You got some juice on it, but the over-under is three and a half at minus 158. You definitely poly poly it up with some of your sure bets. I like that one. I like him to go over. Uh, hmm. Interesting play here. Jonathan Taylor had, I think he had nine targets for like seven catches last week. Uh, if that shit continues, you'll get him at over two and a half receptions for uh, at plus 102, still at plus money. Naeem Hines, he, this is his this is his role. I expect I expect them to be passing. But things can get dicey. Things can get tricky because like they, they played Chicago Bears last week, the Rams and uh um Montgomery did give them a hundred yards rushing, okay? So for what, if it's whatever reason that you don't like to go to Jonathan Taylor for this over two and a half uh, catches, which I think is doable, this is actually Naheem Hines' role. All right, he's the the, the you know the, the uh you know the 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 change of pace back. He comes in, he catches catches the ball. This is what he does, and that uh, over three and a half is doable, especially. Going up against the Rams, and they're projected to be down. That's a positive game script for Naeem Hines. I mean, and that's a negative game script. They have to be, they, nine times out of ten, they're going to have to be passing to stay into this, uh, to stay in this game. Uh, they don't, if, 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 you, if you notice this, they don't have any of the Ram, uh, uh, coach receivers up here right now. So that's something to look be to look out for. Uh, all three of the coach receivers, especially the two on the outside, uh, 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 they played, you know, well over ninety percent of the snaps. They just wasn't going downfield. I'll be looking for Winston to be passing a little bit more this this week, man. Okay. <sighs> Woo. Um, Van Jefferson over two and a half catches. He's cutting into some of that Robert Woods action. Um, Robert Woods didn't have the output that we would like to see last game, but you never know. He might pop out. Um, and Cooper Cup, he's self-explanatory uh, at over five and a half catches. He's a target monster. Uh, Tyler Higby, though, that over three and a half, I like that. And then Naheem Hines, and I'm thinking about sprinkling that Jonathan Taylor. And some, uh, you know, yeah. So man, it, 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 it's 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 you know, I like I like I like the Rams to win this one. And if I was to you know go to a um, let's see. I know that you have a at least a two, a two, a two touchdown prop for um, Matthew Stafford. Let's see what they got. Okay, they got Matthew Stafford to throw two touchdowns in the Rams to win at plus one ten. I can get down with that. I can get down with that. Uh, three touchdowns at plus two eighty. If you're feeling froggy, I can probably get down with that. Look at that. Cooper Cup of 100 yards to win, and 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 win at plus 340. And keep in mind, whenever you take the under underdog for player prop parlays, whenever you take the underdog for player prop parlays, the odds are always higher. So that's something to always keep in mind. You know, some easy shit like. Uh, Wins to throw two touchdowns in the coast to win, you'll get that at 390. But I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't fuck with it. You know, just point that out. Let's keep it moving, man. Uh, Buffalo and Miami Dolphins. I. Right. It's. Look. 
Look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the prayer process. <clears throat> Miami, Miami, I mean, the Dolphins, I mean, Buffalo Bills are a pass-heavy team, man. Last week, Zach Moss, the running back, he was inactive, okay? This looks like they're giving, you know, they, they, Singletary is the lead back here. Oh, even though he only had, what, either 9 or 11 attempts, he's looking like the lead back here. But he does get some work in the passing game. So, we're gonna go to the uh, to the uh, we're gonna go to uh, player total receptions. Matter of fact, let me we're gonna go to play. Let me get a little help here. We're gonna go to a player player total receptions here, and uh, we're gonna see what we got. All right. Now, uh, w um, Will Fuller was scheduled to play, but he's not playing. So Jalen Waddle was back in play. All right. So keep that in mind. For Miami. So, uh, let me get a little help here because I can't remember off the back. But uh, let's go over to Buffalo. All right, let me get some of these target shares, okay? Um, Stefan Diggs had 13 targets, okay, against uh, the Steelers last week. Then you got Devin Singletary. He had five targets and three catches. You're gonna get his prop at uh, over two and a half. This I like. I'm an overs guy. Okay, I don't bet too many unders. I don't bet too many unders. So you're gonna get Devin Singletary at you know his over under at two and a half, man. At at, at one twenty two. Okay, Emmanuel Sanders. All right, this is a pick your poison thing. I'm just letting you know. Uh, you pick your own poison here, uh, Emmanuel Sanders. He had eight targets. He had four receptions on eight targets, okay? His 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 reception probably sitting at three and a half. He is at, at minus one forty eight. He is the number two receiver over here for right now. Then you got Stefan Diggs, the number one receiver. Then you got Cole Beasley, the number two uh the slot guy. All right. Now Cole Beasley went out there and and, and got uh This boy had 13 targets in the slot, man. Okay? And he had eight receptions. His prop is sitting at four and a half. I don't know my favorite prop out of these three guys, man. I don't know my favorite prop out of these three guys. If I had really, really had to go to one, I probably would go to either Cole Beasley or uh, Emmanuel Sanders here. All right? Uh... I don't mind some uh, Jalen Waddle. Um, you're gonna get this prop. Um, let me go to Jalen Waddle. I forgot his targets. Um, let's see. Man, I'm supposed to know this by heart. Shit. He had five targets, four receptions. So, hmm. Uh. Man, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's just some good information that I, I want to point out there. New England against uh, uh, the Jets, all right? Um, game script for New England, you know, they, they're going to want to be running the ball. Of course, we know that. We definitely know that. Uh, so, last time I checked, uh, Damian Harris rushing prop, it was sitting at 73 or whatever the case may be, he, you know, he got some interesting rushing. I'm going to talk about rushing right here. His yards, it was interesting, at 73 and a half, okay? Last week he had 23 attempts. So, um, you know, I think that's doable. That's something I wanted to point out there. I think that's doable, all right? So, he also had a hundred yards. Okay, he had, yeah, he had one fumble, twenty-three attempts, and a hundred yards. Um, we all know Belichick likes to run the ball. So before I get into some of these uh, target shares, I just had to point that out because, you know, if for for, for whatever reason, 
you know, some of these guys, if they don't hit their props or whatever the case may be, it could be up, you know, and, 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 and they, it, they could be running the ball. But as far as uh, receptions, total receptions over here for this game, you know, let's take Jacoby Myers for instance. They got his prop set if, uh, uh, over under at four and a half. I like the over there. He played 99% of the snaps last week. Nelson Aguilar, and he had nine targets. Nelson Aguilar had seven targets. He had like five catches. This prop sitting there over under three and a half, okay? Corey Davis on the other side of the ball. Game script, you know, they should be behind. You know, so he's the number one receiver over there. Shout out to him. He showed up last game. Uh, he had seven targets. He had five receptions, all right? Uh, so his 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 targets. I mean his his reception shit sitting at uh his over under sitting at four and a half at plus money. Of course they letting us know at plus money. They with that plus right there. They letting us know that yeah. This is a pretty nice defense in New England. Uh, in New England, and they giving us a little leeway over there with some plus money. Okay, at plus one away. All right, that's cool. Whatever case may be. Uh, James White, uh, will they need him in the passing game? He did have seven targets last week, and he caught six balls. His his park is 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 sitting his over under sitting at three and a half. So, you know, for whatever reason, if you think they need to target him, you know, there you have that. Uh, my favorite play would probably be that uh, Jacoby Myers, Myers over. Four and a half. Only reason I he I think he if if he don't hit that, I think this is a run heavy script. You know, that's the only reason that way I see he he don't hit that. Uh, San Francisco 49ers, They dealing with a little a few injuries in that secondary. Um, checking out their player. Uh, uh, check, we're gonna check out their um, reception props here. Um, Total, they total receptions. Look, Devontae Smith over. It's a lot of juice on it at 172, though. But that over three and a half, I keep running, running into it, man. I keep running into it. You know, I think it's a go. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a go. I think it's a go. You know. Uh, uh, I need to go back and check the status of. Uh, of uh, Zach Ertz, I think he, I think he's a go. If we get any word he's, he's, he's not a go, then that three and a half of Dallas Goddard, red plus money, I think that's a go. Uh, five and a half, Debo Samuel's and George Kittle, one of them got the hit. Uh, Miles Sanders. I think he can hit that. Yeah. Over on the two and a half, I think he can hit that. New Orleans Saints and uh, Carolina Panthers, okay? On my last video, I pointed out one one of my favorite props. They had, the line probably moved. I think I got it at 110, which was uh, Christian McCaffrey receiving and rushing yards combined. I think it was Minus 105. I think I got it at one 110 total yards. So uh, I like I like that prop there. All right. Now New Orleans Saints. We can talk about the New Orleans Saints real fast. Uh, week one they played Green Bay Packers. We can call it whatever. We can say the Packers could have been rusty. The defense could have been rusty. Whatever the case may be, you know. All that shit could have played a factor in that game last week. Okay? That was week one. We on to week two. I don't think this game... I mean, I don't know. They, they had some defense. Sean Payton is a good coach in New Orleans. But we're going to nip that shit in the bud, all right? We're going to go with... Uh, we're going to go to the total receptions, all right? Now, on any given day, you got... You got Alvin Kamara at, at damn near at plus money at minus one hundred two, over under at uh, um, 
four and a half. I receptions. I, I I know one thing. This is either a play or a fade on the over. Because I know you ain't betting the under. I know you ain't betting the under. Christian McCaffrey, nine targets last week, nine catches, man. Over under sitting at five and a half. Yeah, it's some juice on it at 172, but y'all know what we do. We'll, we'll parlay that shit up in a minute, all right? Now, uh, Marquez Callaway. He's he, he's not going to be do what – they're going to have to pass the ball at some point in the season, all right? Over under three and a half, I like the over on that one, all right? Adam Troutman, I don't mind. I don't mind the over on them two and a half targets. Okay, two and a half receptions. DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson. You're gonna get Robbie Anderson over four and a half. Over four and a half at plus money. I don't know what I want to do with that. I don't know what I want to do with that DJ Moore. You know it. Ain't, you know everything. You know you don't have to bet everything. You can fade something. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say my favorite bet, uh, prop right here is gonna be this Terrence Marshall. In the slot, the rookie, over two, two uh, I like him to go over two and a half catches, man. I like him to go to over two and a half catches. I cast in on that Dan Arnold uh, over one and a half last week. I don't know if I'm gonna go there, but you know, I I, I can get I, I can get down with that Terrence Marshall. Terrence Marshall gonna get him a few touchdowns this year too. All right, let's keep it moving. Minnesota Vikings and Arizona Cardinals. Uh now, week one was crazy. They lost to the Bengals. Uh, Minnesota Vikings lost to the Bengals. I think this should be a high school and affair right here. Everybody, this is one of those games right here. You know, so uh, one thing you know with Minnesota, the, 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 the targets and everything, they concentrated. We know exactly where the ball was going, except for week one. We got a surprise week one, okay? And that was nobody. That was uh, damn. Uh, what was his name? Uh, KJ Osborne. Yeah. So we got surprised last week. KJ Osborne played eighty over eighty percent of the snaps and got eight targets. Okay. Shit. So. <clears throat> so uh, let's go over here to the player props. Let's see what they got for these total total receptions. Like I said, we know where the target's going in this game, all right? We know where they're going. Ooh, my knee hurt. <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. All right, uh, okay. Right now, they got K.J. Osborne over, over, at two and a half targets, okay? Two and a half receptions. I'm going to take the over on that. He had nine targets, seven receptions last week. That wasn't no fluke. That wasn't no fluke. I'm, I'm going to take the over on that. I'm going to take the over on that. All right. Um, so it looks like they don't have anybody up here from Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals what the fuck? Except for Rondell Moore. Uh, if y'all don't know Rondell Moore, who Rondell Moore is, y'all going to fucking know about him in a little while. I'm not going to go to it right now. But he, what's going to happen is he going to end up bumping that A.J. Green. A.J. Green. He gonna end up bumping him and be playing in the slot or Kurt, Kurt, Christian Kurt. He gonna end up bumping him, bumping AJ Green. AJ, well, I'm gonna tell you this: AJ Green gonna end up being the number four in a few more games. And Rondell Moore, at, I, I won't even, I don't even mind taking this. It's, 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 it's gonna, it's, 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 it's. This is a gamble here, but his ass can hit that three and a half. It's a gamble here. It's just the amount of playing time he's going to get, man. He's a rookie, man. He's a bowling ball. All right. They got uh, Adam Thielen at over four and a half. Uh, he's a touchdown magnet. I like him to score a touchdown, all right? I don't know about that over four and a half. Hell, yeah, he can do that. Justin Jefferson, it's time for him to pop out, you know, over five and a half. I don't even know if I'm going to go there, though. I don't know if I'm going to go there. Tyler Conklin, he's out there a ton. He's out there a ton. He can hit that, but I'm not betting on that. Moving over, moving along, moving along. Tampa Bay and uh, Atlanta Falcons, okay? Division game. <sighs> Let's go over here to the player props and the. Uh, 
man, what I want to tell you about this game, man. Uh, the running back situation going, going on over here between Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette. Keep an eye out on that, man. Like I say, we 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 gotta we gotta go with the flow. It's week one, man. Don't be surprised if Ronald Jones ass go out there and have a good game, okay? Do not fucking be surprised, all right? Let's go to total receptions, all right? All right. Um, Mike Epson, Mike Evans should be looking to get his lick back. And Brady, you know, Brady like, man, just calm down. You know it wasn't number week one, man. You know I got you. You know what I'm saying? So yardage-wise, I don't like to bet on Mike Evans' yardage. I like to bet on his receptions. He was one of Brady's favorite targets last year in the in the red zone, okay? So uh, I have some interest in that over four and a half. Uh, Chris Godwin, I think he had, what, 13 targets last week? Oh, uh, shit. Let's see. Mm. The God? Godwin had uh, 13 targets, nine receptions, all right? Uh, you know, anywhere the field, the red zone, wherever the case may be, you know, it is what it is. Uh Cal Pitts, over four and a half. I did, and Cal really over five and a half. I just listen. Russell Gage, he didn't. They did my boy wrong last week. He should be looking to bounce back. Um, we all know how stout the that run defense is in Tampa Bay. Atlanta Falcons is in the past. In the past, past the script. Anyway, man, I think they got the pass. Mike Ryan don't have no problem with throwing that motherfucker 50, 60 times going up against Brady. Uh, a lot of these, uh, you know, two-minute drills and shit like that, you know, this is a division game. Anything can happen in this game. You know, shit, man. I think it's a passing league, man. Mike Davis catches passes out of the backfield, okay? When the teams are trying to, you know, shit, they might have to dump it off to him three or four times, man. I don't have a favorite prop right here. I don't mind uh, Mike Evans over four and a half. I don't mind Russell, uh, Russell, Russell Gage. Russell Gage won't have no game like that with, with no targets no more. They're going to have to go to him. And then... Uh, um, um, Tampa Bay secondary ain't all of that. And they're dealing with some injuries back there. So, you know, if they can protect uh, Matt Ryan, they need to, they going to have to get back on the ball, okay? I don't give a fuck who win this game. <laughs> Tell you the truth. I do got Tampa Bay. You know, I, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can get, uh, go for Brady two or three touchdowns in a win. That's a, that's a bet. You know, but Truthfully, I don't care. Dallas Cowboys and Los Angeles Chargers. Now, you know, this is the game that everybody's looking for, whether you're playing DFS, whatever the case may be. This game so motherfucking juicy, they don't even got the player props out for it. You know, so there you have that. You know, we can keep it moving on that. They don't even have, they don't even have, they don't even have the, let's see. They don't even have the uh, player prop parlays out. So, you know, <laughs> they cooking up something. We're going to have limited time to get that bread. What the over on that game is? 54 and a half, one of the highest totals. It's Tennessee's Titans and the Seattle Seahawks, okay? Um, they got the total sitting at 54 and a half. Listen, there might be some rain in Seattle. Look at that. Check out that weather, okay? Check out that weather. Now, uh, player props. I didn't have too much for this game, though, man. Don't be don't be afraid to, to fade anything, man. It don't feel right, man. Fade them, man. Fade it. I gotta. That's what I gotta do. I gotta. I gotta wait for the weather. So I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm not even gonna touch on this game. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like. I'm going to like Chris Carson in this game anywhere it go. Anywhere it go, I'm going to like Chris Carson in this game. So there you have that. Uh, thank you all for 
rock it with me, man. I, I want to get somebody on me on here with me, man. I need I need I probably need somebody to bounce some ideas off of. Shout out to the group. Love y'all over there. Love what y'all got going on over there. You know, you know. Twitter followers, whatever the case may be, man. Listen, all these props ain't gonna hit, but it's an alternative way to get some money. Then you got first half bets. It's too many bets, man. It's too many bets. There ways a lot of ways to get money. Don't forget to use your alternates, okay? I might drop some same game, drop some same game parlays out, you know, whatever the case may be. But uh, man, especially the group, man. Look for I should try to get some of y'all on, man. Try to you know come here, come on, you know, on on the show with me, man. But peace out, man. Good luck.